¿Qué pasó, güey? It's your homeboy gets a qual hitting you up with another video. <sighs> Ferocious fight. Today we're going to talk about Vitaly Klitschko versus Manuel Char, which just took place a couple minutes ago. Uh, what can I say? I mean, Vitaly is one of the most dominant heavyweights of this generation, along with his brother. Completely have obliterated their, their competition. Anyone that stepped in the ring with them has pretty much been made look like amateurs. Of course, it should be noted that this generation of heavyweights has been very lackluster. But you have to give the Klitschko brothers props for dominating everybody that's been put in front of them. Mano Achar was a relatively unknown fighter. He went in there, he gave it a lot of heart, but Vitaly Klitschko just had too much skill. Vitaly Klitschko is one of those fighters, I've, I've said it in previous videos that I've made before. He has a very awkward style. He doesn't, he doesn't have too much speed. You see, he's, he's fairly slow, but he has great timing. He knows how to keep his distance from his fighter, and he's got big power in those hands. Heavy, heavy hands. And he was just working Char, catching him. Anytime Char tried to come in, Vitaly was right there taking a quick little step back and coming in with, coming in with that left, right, left, right, left, right, and always maintaining his distance. Manuel Char, of course, he, he landed a couple punches, but nothing really to put Vitaly Klitschko in any kind of problems. In the second round, you saw towards the end of that round, Vitaly Klitschko landed a, a pretty huge right hand, and uh, Manuel Char went straight to the motherfucking ground. In the beginning of the fourth round, Vitaly Klitschko started doing his thing again, you know, beating the shit out of his ass. He, he ended up catching Manuel Char, I believe it was left hook. That had a Manuel Char leaking like a motherfucker. Although not not that bad. As he started bleeding a little bit worse, the referee wanted the doctor to take a look at the cut. The referee determined, well not the referee actually, the doctor determined that the cut was too bad for Char to continue. In my opinion, I've, I felt that the fight should have kept going. They should have at least gave Char a puncher's chance to win the fight. I do believe that Vitaly Klitschko was going to knock him out either way. There was, you know, there was no way that Mano Char, it, it didn't look like he was going to do anything to try to come back. But at least give the guy the chance. You know, the cut was not that bad. But you got to give Vitaly Klitschko all the credit in the world. Went in there, went fighting in Moscow, handled his motherfucking business. And did you see Mano Char? Char was motherfucking pissed. He was heated that they stopped the fight. And understandably so, because like I said, I, I do believe it was a it was a bit of a premature stoppage. And they did mention Mono Char's situation. You know, he's living with friends. Friends are paying for his bills, gas, and all that. So it's understandable why he would be angry. He was super pissed. He 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 wanted to fight Klitschko after they already stopped the fight. Like like fucking nigga, let's fight on some street shit. Char was so pissed, man. Put it like this, man. I I wouldn't let Char. I won't let that nigga around any guns for like two weeks, man. Because that motherfucker look like he'll go on a shooting rampage or something, man. But, like I said, all the credit in the world to Vitaly Klitschko. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is Quetzalcoatl signing the fuck on out.